Today we're doing a tutorial on making a mesh chain to be imported into Second Life. So go ahead and open up your blender. I'm using 2.49B. A lot of you will be using 2.5 or later. Um, like I said, I'm using 2.49B. It's just because what I prefer. And I'm using Domino's Primstar 1.0 scripts. If you're using 2.5 or later, you're going to need to find Domino's 2.0 Primstar scripts. I'm going to provide the links below for what I use. Uh, basically, you can go to the same sites and find the versions for what you want to use. Uh, I can't guarantee they're going to work. Like I said, I use 2.49B and I'm using Primstar 1.0. So once you have it open, we're going to get to our default cube here and we're going to get rid of it. You can either click hotkey X or you can go down to object and select delete and then erase selected object. Then I'm going to add my torus mesh down here. I'm going to pick the sculpt mesh. Remember these options are because I installed Primstar 1.0 from Domino Designs. These don't come in Blender so you're going to have to set up your Blender appropriately. So I'm going to click sculpt mesh go in here and select torus Z then zoom in using the wheel on my mouse. Now if I select N on my keyboard it's the hotkey for the transform properties we're going to extend this out into more of an oval shape. Remember your red is X, green is Y, and blue is Z on your vectors. So I'm going to go over and scale out three, close this out, and then I'm going to go to sculpt mode. In my sculpt mode, I'm going to select my symmetry, all of them, X, Y, and Z. Select grab, and I'm going to kind of shape this out a little more like a chain link. There we go. It's a little more like a chain. Now we're going to go back into object mode. Then I'm going to zoom out using the mouse wheel and I am going to hit Shift D to create a duplicate. Now I can drag this out, hit Shift D again, drag it out, and so on until you have the amount of links you want. At this point you could also for each, if you wanted to bend this chain or do it in, you know, not just a straight line, you could use transform properties by selecting N on your keyboard and then use rotations and move your object around and basically you can make like a bent chain. I just recently made one for a pocket watch or whatever you want. Now we're going to need to change the rotation on some of these so it makes sense and looks correct. So I'm going to select the second one, hit hotkey N, bring up my transform properties and rotate on X 90 degrees. Same thing with the fourth one, rotate on X 90 degrees. And now if you look around in camera view, see we basically have a chain. So now we're going to go down and split our screen. You're going to make the double arrow down here by going on this border. Right click and select split area. And now on this side, I prefer doing it on my right hand side, I'm going to go down here and select my UV image editor. And on this side, we're going to go into edit mode. Well, before that, we just skip a step. I'm going to zoom in on this side, and I'm going to right click while holding shift down on my keyboard all my chain links. You notice that they're all outlined in pink. This means we have them all selected in one piece of chain. So to combine this mesh as one, select control and J on your keyboard at the same time. Then you're going to want to click on join selected meshes. Now that I have one object over here, I'm going to go into edit mode and make sure everything is highlighted and selected in yellow. If it isn't, it will look like this and you want it to look yellow. So select all. You can also do that with the hotkey on your keyboard of A. Uh, now we're going to go into mesh, UV unwrap, and you'll notice we have a bunch of things to choose from. You can play around with these and get your desired results. I'm going to select project from view with bounds. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to load my image. I happen to like this little corroded steel, so that's what we're going to go with. And if you want to preview this in your blender, you can go down here and select texture paint. And there we have our chain. Now to export to bring in the second life you're going to need Collada format. So you're going to go File, Export, 
And Second Life supports Colada 1.4, so you're going to pick Colada. I'm going to pick my desktop directory. I'm going to call it chain.dae and export. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Just click export and close. Export successful. And when you import your DAE model into Second Life, import your texture as well, and then just apply it. And you'll come out with your finished product that should look just like this. I hope this helps somebody out. Have fun and happy sculpting.